Well, uh, I'm a little bit lost for words today and I'm genuinely excited because I'm standing next to a man who has given me an enormous amount of pleasure, musical pleasure down the years. Um, he is uh, none other than the guitarist of Marillion, Steve Rothery. Good day. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Steve, um, uh, you're here tonight uh, at playing at Bush Hall in Shepherd's Bush. Um, not with your Marillion hat on, but with your Steve Rothery band hat on. Yes, it's, it's the uh, pretty much the final uh, night of my tour to promote my solo album, The Ghost of Pripyat. Uh, we have a show in a week's time in Barcelona, but this is the kind of the main event really tonight. Yeah, I was, I mean, we've just been downstairs. An enormous amount of equipment and cameras and stuff. You know, what's what's going on there? Uh, well, Abbey Road are recording. Yeah, you know, they do this thing where they record the live CD doing the concert, then sell them at the end of the show. Yeah, they're doing that here tonight. I've also got a film crew down filming it. Uh, I don't know if it would be a DVD release or maybe like a, do uh, a video download release. Yeah. Um, yeah, a great light show. Uh, a good friend of ours, Brian Leach. Uh, you know, work with Coldplay and many of the artists uh, has put putting together a fantastic light show for me. And, right. Uh, yeah, it should be very special, very excited. Yeah, well, it was uh, not a few months ago that I saw that Steve's uh, album, The Ghosts of Pripyat, was coming out, and I thought, hang on, I've been to Pripyat. Now, Pripyat was the city that was evacuated when Chernobyl exploded. What was your, um, what was your connection with Pripyat? Uh, well, when the whole this project started, I got invited to play a guitar festival in Bulgaria, in Plovdiv, an international guitar festival, and I, and I had to write some ideas for it. One of the things I wrote was was like a, something that reminded me of like a haunted children's carousel. Oh, I've so, been there. Yeah. I've been there. Yeah. God, yeah. So uh, I, I went on Google Images and I looked up all these deserted fairgrounds across Europe, and I came across you know the iconic images from Pripyat. Oh, unbelievable! Um, and read the more I read about it, and I also read a book by an American photojournalist called Would You Stay. Uh, it was a, you know, about both Pripyat and, and the uh, nuclear disaster in Japan. Oh, yeah, uh, right. And I thought it would be a fantastic theme for a track and then a very powerful theme for the album. Well, so you haven't been to Pripyat yourself? No, I was supposed to play a benefit concert uh, in Kiev at the beginning of this tour for, for ah, the... Ah, but uh, political problems. Well, yeah, it was followed by a concert in Moscow, both of which have got uh, moved. <laughs> how, about well, do, you know. how, how about playing to a, sec, a packed out... Uh, uh, venue in Kobani or whatever. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> God. Um, so maybe at some point in the future, I, I would, but I would love to go there. Yeah, it's a it's a stunning place. Um, how did the um, how did the other tracks come together? Was it was, did you sit down? Well, I mean, was this um, was this old noodlings that sort of suddenly found their 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 their, their, their legs, as it were, song um, wise? Or? Uh, no, not really. Some of the ideas have been around a little while. Um, but I had to write the music for the guitar festival, and I see, uh, right. uh, I wrote with the other guitarist, a good friend of mine, Dave Foster. Uh, we we kind of co-wrote. I, I probably wrote about seventy-five percent of it. Um, but yeah, very effortless. We we did it in a couple of afternoons, really. So which is a oh right a long way away from uh, how we work with Marillion. You know, and, and how does the the, the rothery ego sit with being the main man? Is it is it quite good fun um, actually? Ego. <laughs> Everyone has an ego, Steve. <laughs> I'm not saying that yours is uh, bigger or smaller than anyone else's. <laughs> um, it's strange. It, the, the strangest thing is getting used to talking to the audience, really. Right. If you kind of if your gig has been to play the guitar and, and the, the vocalist does all that. So just getting used to that. But it's kind of coming together, getting more and more relaxed. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, uh, occasional joke. Yeah. I came along to the, the Aylesbury, uh, the launch at Aylesbury, where we were going to do this interview. But it's probably better we've done it now yeah. after you've played some gigs and sort of bedded in and sort of less nervous and things like that. Yes. You know. Um, but uh, I was very impressed with some of your monologues. It was Gabriel-esque, or, 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 or dare I say it, a little bit like Fish used to be in the old days, and still is, actually. Yeah, well, maybe, yeah. I was also, I was watching Bill Bailey on the tour, actually. <laughs> I didn't get quite as surreal as him, but... Uh, no. Is it quite an inspiration? Yeah. yeah. Speaking of, um, of our old mucker, Fish, uh, are, are you still in touch with him? I mean, I remember coming to see you play Sugar Mice with him at a pub in... Near Epping Forest, That's about right, four, yeah. four or five. I don't know whether you remember that. Remember it was a bit of a well, yeah, hazy yeah. late evening. Uh, I seem yeah. to remember. I don't know whether it was for you, but for Fish and I, it was. Yes, no, <laughs> I, I remember him being horrified when uh, yeah we we started playing Sugar Mice. But of course, I played it in the original key, which he never never does anymore. Ah, so, uh, so he, he had, had to he sing had it. To, uh, 
he had to reach deep, I think, to. Uh, but he did a great job. It, it was a great night. Um, yeah, I saw him at the at the Prog Awards uh, oh, a few yes. weeks ago. Yeah, we we're chatting quite a lot at the end. You've of the got evening. got an interview in in Prog Magazine actually. Yes, this I, month. I, yeah, I just yeah, read it. Yes, yeah. I am a subscriber to Prog Magazine, which is why I'm so excited <laughs> to be uh, standing next to one of the Prog gods and. Uh, I uh, am not ashamed to say that when I was 18, I came to see Marillion at uh, Hammersmith Odeon and queued up afterwards and nobody turned up. And so I shouted out, forgotten fans, which I thought was very funny. Uh, yeah. It was a sort of play on words of Forgotten Sons, the uh, last track of the first album script for Jester's Tear. And um, the fish got fish to um, sign a fiver for me, right. which I've subsequently spent, which I've a bit annoyed about, but maybe I can get him to sign another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. Yeah. Um, we, 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 we'll wrap up now, Steve, because I know you're busy, you've got, got the, um, the sound check and everything to do, but you are doing some of the... Uh, you're, you're obviously doing the whole, the whole of your... Uh, of the Ghosts of Pripyat, but yeah. you are doing some, some Marillion numbers, and uh, uh, in Aylesbury you did um, Incubus, you did Cinder Cinderella Search, and one other. Sugar mice, was it? Sugar mice. Right. It was sugar mice, so you did three. Are we doing are you doing three this evening? I'm doing more than three this <laughs> evening, actually. It's it's grown, yeah, no. It's it's great fun to play some of these old songs. Uh, we're also doing Chelsea Monday. Uh, oh, are you? Blimey. For Gazi. Uh, for Gazi. Lavender and Heart of Lothian. Lavender and Heart of Lothian. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Right. So that's um and any any sort of Hogarth. Era Marillion? Uh, Afraid of Sunlight. Yeah. Uh, we have been doing Easter. I do like Afraid of Sunlight. Yes, that's off the, uh, the last album. Yeah, Easter and uh, Waiting to Happen as well. We have. But, uh, we, you know, we have a, an 11 o'clock curfew tonight, so we'll. So we'll, we'll have see to see how it goes. Yeah. Okay, Steve, well, we'll, we'll let you go um, back because I know you're very busy and uh, there's all sorts of act activity down yeah. there, but it's been a great pleasure. Thanks My very pleasure. much indeed. Cheers, thanks, please.